Hello everyone, myself Krishna Muwa, and I'll be presenting this paper called the Autonomous UAV Landing on a Moving UAV Using Machine Learning. My co-authors are Gyu Ming Lee and Dr. Wolf. There exists in the literature of autonomous UAV landing on a static platform as well as on, ground, on moving ground vehicles. However, ground vehicles are limited to move in irregular spaces. And also they are limited to two dimensions only. So we thought if we could expand this by landing a UAV on a moving UAV, which can increase the maneuverability from two dimensional to three, dimension, three dimensions. And also it could help the operations like search and rescue, and as well as autonomous onboard charging. So the object of this research is about performing an autonomous UAV landing on a moving UAV and applying machine learning based vision to achieve this process. The overall method could be seen in the finite state machine here. Uh, I'm gonna use the terminology that agent UAV means the UAV which lands and base UAV is the UAV on which the landing, op landing operation occurs. So the agent UAV enters the search mechanism in the beginning. It looks for the base UAV. Once it detects, it activates the control mechanism to reach and to follow the base UAV and to reach the top of the base UAV. Once it exactly on the top of base UAV, then the landing, the descent and the landing operation will be carried, carried out. For the search mechanism, we have used an existing search technique called the RRT star, which means rapidly exploring random trees. We use the ROS package for that. Since it's already existing mechanism, I'm not going to talk much on this. For the detection, to detect the base UAV, we have created a measure data set of base UAV by making the base UAV to navigate in the environment and also collecting some information from the internet videos as well. We created a data set containing a thousand, image, thousand images, and we trained this uh, neural network with these images, a special type of convolution neural network called the SSD, which means single shot multi-box object detector. We have trained this network with a batch size of 16 with all of the data set, and we have observed that it took uh, 60, around 60 epochs to converge and to perform the well. Here you could see a uh, sample detection results, the base UAV and its detection, and uh, here as well, uh, at which you could see the robustness of this method that it is not confusing with shadow as a drone, and as well as able to detect the drone in the occluded environment as well as a clustered environment as well. For the control mechanism, we have used a PID-based controller to make the agent UAV to follow the base UAV. In other words, the center of the detected bonding box of the base UAV need to converge towards the center of the image frame. And we have used the area of the bonding box to reach the appropriate height or appropriate altitudes. Once it's at the appropriate altitude, the, the descent operation will be carried. And after that, the landing with uh, disarming the drone. You could see the sample uh, frames from the result in which the agent UAV is following the base UAV and performing the landing operation. To test this mechanism, we have used three different trajectories. Those are straight line trajectory, a square trajectory, and an ellipsoidal trajectory. Uh, you could see the sample results in this video in which the straight line trajectory is used. The agent UAV is following the base UAV. You could see that it is seeing the base UAV and it's descending towards it to do the landing operation. And once it's at the perfect height, it carry the fast descent and disarming the drone. And similarly, here you could see uh, in, the, in the next video, you could see the ellipsoidal trajectory based landing in which the 
agent UAV is following the base UAV while the base UAV is executing the ellipse trajectory. And once it's at the perfect place, it's going to do the, uh, the descent and then the landing. And uh, the results, the overall results could be seen here. We have for each trajectory, that is the strike line, square and ellipse, we have used four different velocities. Those are one kilometer per hour, two kilometer per hour, three kilometer per hour and, and five kilometer per hour. Uh, the x-axis represents the time in seconds and the y-axis represents a pose of a base UAV and agent UAV along the x, y and z axis. The black dashed line represents the place at which the descent starts and followed by the landing. And here the stride line is happening along the x-axis. That's why you could see that base UAV is following the X and the agent UAV is tracking it. And the similar performance here. And same uh, story for three kilometer per hour and five kilometer per hour as well with the stride line trajectory. And in here, you could see the square trajectory results uh, in which the black dashed line again represents the place at which the descent has started. And you could see that um, in, the, in one kilometer per hour, the agent UAV be able to do the landing in the first side of the square, but as for two kilometer per hour, it, it needed the second side to do the landing, which, is, um, which means that the time of the landing increased as the speed of the base UAV increases, which is explainable because while the speed increases, the agent UAV requires more time to do the landing operation. A similar performance with the three kilometer per hour and five kilometer per hour, and as well as the, uh, the time required to do the landing is increased. And here you could see the results of the, with the ellipsoidal trajectory for the one kilometer per hour and two kilometer per hour, uh, where the agent UA is tracking the ellipsoid along the X and Y axis and the black dashed line at which the descent has started and the landing occurs. And a, a similar performance with the three kilometer per hour and as well as the five kilometer per hour velocities. In addition to that, uh, to test the repeatability of the experiment for each trajectory, for each velocity, we have carried out five trials for each trajectory and each velocity. You could see the results here that the strike line, I mean, the trajectories along, along here, the strike line square ellipse and velocities here, the one, two, three, and five kilometer per hour. And the five trials for each um, velocity with each uh, trajectory, the success bar and failure bar here. And we could see that for all of these, for each trajectory and each velocity, for each trial, the agent you may be able to successfully land on the base UAV which can tell the robustness of this me mechanism or method. So with these results, we could conclude that uh, the object detection based, the convolution neural network based object detection method to perform the landing, to detect the base UAV and to and perform the landing is a robust method to do the landing operation and which could uh, demonstrate through the agent UAV successful landing on all of these trajectories with all different velocities for all of these trials. In the future, we'll be planning on using an LQR based controller to make the controller even more robust. And also we are interested in uh, studying the effect of the error of the localization on the performance of the controller. With that, uh, that's all about my presentation. And if you have any questions, uh, please do not hesitate to write to me. Thank you very much for listening.